Hello everyone. Okay, this is promise. Uh, I think in my previous post, I said about you know, uh, on going to my eight thousand uh followers, I would like to make a video with the uh, with the highest uh uh likes in the comment, which is I think is done by Max Max Maxi. I think yeah. So let me check. Oh yeah. So yeah, Mas Maxi said uh, he would like a uh, mangrove for be Mas uh, estimation, I think. Oh, so let's do it. So I'm using Signal 2, uh, as a collection, you know. So uh, this is my script, uh, I'll share it uh, too. Uh, so we're doing all this in from 2019 to 23, so basically the whole years, uh, for these five years. I only use some bands, you know, to for prediction. So for samples, we're gonna use JDI data. So this data is very uh, famous, uh, it's very recently. So basically it's like LiDAR, but it's only a certain uh, point. So not all of the area, you know. But at least we can use it as a samples. That's, that's what the plan is. Uh, maybe I need to show what kind of JDI data look like. Uh, maybe I'll uh, show it from here with. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna run the code again. Let's see if it's work. So you know as usual, uh, my script is you know you you define a, a, a bit. so you filter the collection, you apply cloud masking, you apply everything that you know, needed you know uh, to make the image. Let me check. Uh, so this image. Here like this, uh, so the image, and then we we have got the indices, you know. So I'm using NDM, NDMI, not to most index, and MNDVI to map out the, the mangrove. So basically, I just uh, for, uh, just threshold. So if it's water, uh, if it's uh, indices of NDMI above uh, 0 0.5, and it's not a water, then it's gonna be well mangrove. So this is the mangrove cover, as you can see here. So yeah, the purple one is the mangrove, which is, I think it's really fits, right? It's almost fit there. So you don't need to classify it, you only have to mask them. Very easy. Then next is that uh, we filter also for the Jedi data. Uh, so Jedi data. So it's like, so the result is like this kind of point, you know. Uh, you can see that there is a small point here, right? Then just zoom in a bit. Nah, it's gonna take quite a while. Eh. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, this small point. So this uh, this point represent a uh, a value, which is this time is biomass. I mean, Jerry also can also for canopy hike and also for uh canopy covers, but this is for hike. I don't know if it's for biomass. You know, uh, you see the legend left here, right? Uh, so. If it's high, have a high biomass, it's gonna be three thousands. If it's low, it's gonna be you know like yellow, something like that. So I'm done this for every single years uh, as usual. Uh, then after it's for every single year, uh, what I did is that I'm gonna sample it. So this image, I'm gonna sample it together with this. So we get like certain uh, feature collections, on which then we're gonna train. We're gonna split uh, with to train and test. On which you're gonna develop a model using my random forest, uh, which is in the script here. I think I'm gonna zoom in the script a bit <laughs> so you can see it better. Yeah, so I train the models, then you know, I check how important the factor is, which you can see here. Oh, yeah, this is the sample size. I also print it if you want to see how many samples I use for training and how many for testing. So, so that I think Ben 11s, I think they have the highest factors and 12 on deciding the biomass. Then I apply the models into the test data, which show you know the accuracy. You can see here. Okay, let's. Ah, uh, uh, there's a red line here, right? You can see now. Red line is uh, this is a one-to-one -one, uh, comparison. Basically, if it's close to red line, it means that it's really accurate. If it's not, it's far. As you see, our line here, our trend of data, coming with reference and prediction, is a little bit off to the right. It means that it's a little bit underestimates. That's okay, and uh, with air score of 0 0.7, which is pretty good, I think. Well, that's my opinion. <laughs> uh huh. So that's it 
for the accuracy. Then after that, uh, in my script, I also then after that the model is done, we apply the model for each year of data. So we get edge edge of ground by for every single years. That's what I did. You can see it clearly here with second. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a while. Okay, okay, that's green one. So every single you know pixels represent a mangrove, you know, and how high the biomass is. If you can see the legend left here, if it's dark green, it's gonna be have a high biomass. If it's light yellow, it's gonna be low biomass, something like that. And then for every single year, and then what I did is that I I returned the image back. I calculated the ton of uh, biomass exists in the area because I multiplied by years. Then I reduce it. Then I get the value. Uh, I mean, I have some analysis, but let's skip that. It's not that important. So what it is at first, I need to calculate the how how big the area is, you know, for mangrove for every year, you know, using chart. Because I call the mangrove area to, as you can see here, this in this table. How many hectare uh, mangrove is covered every year? I think there's someone changing, right? Seven thousand to you know eight thousands like that. Then I also calculate the uh, the carbon by mass on that certain years, so from 2019 to 2023, so. 12 uh, million ton, you know, carbon every year. Yeah, about 12 to 30 million tons every year in the chart. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, calculating a perform biomass for every year. Oh, also the trend. I also calculate the trend. So, like from the first year to the last year, like is it ending? Is it f uh, getting fewer? You know, something like that. <laughs> so, is it blue? Does it mean that it's getting more? Is it red? Is it it's worse, so you know, getting less every year. So it's in some percent. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for attention and good day. Try it. <laughs>